The Shark Tank. No jumper. Sharpest, coolest podcast in the world. And today, I got one of the funniest motherfuckers coming out of that Houston today, man. I got that boy, that damn Monty in the building. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Take me some places, man. <laughs> you did. You just couldn't wait to I get could, that. I could, man. I could, man. Hey, man. <laughs> you couldn't wait I to could, get that with the ball. Man. Man. Uh, yeah. You know, I'm a big fan of your work. So you, uh, you're, you're a comedian. Yeah. Yeah. Do comedian work. Uh, yeah. And you tell me what tell me what that's like, man. How that that upbringing of that was. For man, you. it's it was challenging. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. uh, due to the simple fact, like I was telling a uh, homie earlier, man, we was out there having a conversation that mm -hmm. I started as a student of the game. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. Like I took the shit serious because I respect the crowd. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. Stage work, stage work. You mm -hmm. know what I mean. So after that, man, it was just like consistency, man. Boom. And here we go. Yeah. Here we go. You know what I mean? Like, um, starting out in Houston, man, you know, with the OGs and shit like that, mm -hmm. you know, it was challenging, man, because it's like, okay, well, shit, you may be funny, <laughs> but shit, can you actually entertain a crowd? It's mm -hmm. a difference between being funny and are you paperwork funny? Yeah. You know Explain what I mean? Explain that to me a little bit. Like, break down that definition. Okay. Of so... They may say, hey, man, you know, man, man, you funny the you should do comedy. Mm -hmm. No, nah, man, I'm funny due to us having a conversation. Yeah. But are you funny in a structural manner? Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I feel that. Because I be like this. People say I'm funny, but I'm like, I don't think I can be funny in front of a crowd. Like, that's a... It takes a hell of a that, that that takes a hell of a person, man, to be able to do something like that, man. Stand up in front of a crowd and be able to make everybody laugh. Yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? Um, my second show was here. In LA. LA. Yeah. <laughs> Humbled the shit out of me. <laughs> Tell us about man, that a little bit. Because, all right, my first show was in Houston, but I, my first stand up show, man. Mm -hmm. Sold out show. First time doing stand up, 47 minutes. Unheard of for somebody that's just actually starting off doing comedy. Oh, man, I'm feeling myself. Whole 47 oh, minutes. 47 minutes. Man, I come down here, man, do seven minutes, man, and bomb. The same material that I used in Houston. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come down here and people looked at me like, <laughs> it, and it was a diverse crowd. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so now. So make sure everybody. Hell yeah, man. Now, <laughs> now it's time. Yeah. <laughs> Humble the shit out of me. Now it's time for you to get there and, hey, start back writing. You yeah. know what I mean? Because you can, you can do the dick and pussy jokes and all like that and uh, hood rat jokes. You know what I mean? But yeah. when you get in front of a diverse crowd. Yeah. Hey man, them, hey man, them people don't want to hear. Oh man, the baby mama bitch. No, these are corporate people. You yeah. know they they out having a, a good evening. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I learned to take that type of material and bring those type of people into my world. You know what I mean? Versus yeah. just trying to force it on them. Yeah. Because now they looking at you like, okay, you're not funny. You just nigga funny. You know what I mean? Nigga funny. Yeah. You just nigga funny. You got to definitely break that one down <laughs> yeah. to me. So, curious. So a lot of times, you know, um, with black comedians performing in front of, you know, a majority of, like, white people and shit like that, you may You can just, say it here. Yeah. I say it all the time. Oh. Don't even feel If oh. you got to say something, <laughs> I talk about white folks all the time, shit. I talk about niggas all the hey. time. I talk, we talk about everybody. Yeah, yeah. If, 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 if it is what it is, it is what it is, man. Yeah. Call it for what you see it as. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah, man. So, tools. you know, a lot of times, man, white people may look at you and say, man, you know what? Yeah, this nigga funny, but are you actually funny on a different platform to where, hey, man, we can, we can send you over here to Comedy Central or we can send you back over here to BET Comedy View, somewhere mm. else like that. You mm. know what I'm saying? So... Are you diverse? Are you you multi talented when it comes to this comedy shit? Mm. Or are you just full of shit? Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, you just acting like a woman to be funny and yeah. shit like that. And a lot of times, man, that that shit there, it's it's failure. Yeah. It's not the I've noticed it's not the same like it was, because I heard you talk about uh Comic View, right? Yeah. I haven't seen that in years. And there were some of the most funniest people that came up off of Comic View in yeah. places like that. Def Jam, right? Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. just some of the most funniest people. Do you believe that with the black comedian? Do you believe that that it, do you believe that the, the, the group of that is getting scarce or do you feel like it's growing? 
Like the you know what I'm saying, more black comedians are starting to get into it more. You know what I'm saying? Are you starting to see more shit, or do you feel like it's almost like a dime breed? Like it's kind of like there's only a few of y'all left. The real ones. Yeah. Well, man, honestly. <laughs> Talk to me. Shit, the way the world is set up right now, man, is is sensitive. Yeah. You have to watch what you say because now it's like, oh, you're gonna get canceled. You know yeah. what I mean? But no, you can't say that. Yeah. You know, I've been banned for places, you know what I mean, <laughs> because of shit that I've said. Mm. But my thing is like, hey, it's an art form. I'm vocal. You know, I'm not I'm not able to say what the fuck I want to say. You know, you only you only get offended because it's true. It's called being blackballed, right? Yeah. Like they blackballed yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. Like Chappelle, man, they can't fuck with Chappelle. And he came up there and gave it to him straight up. Yeah. Straight up, you know what I mean? And oh, oh we, the council culture, man, fuck all that. You know, and a lot of times, you know, those people that are sensitive, it's like, you try, you really trying to bully me into, no, you can't say that about us. You have to accept the fact that, you know, two men's a bumping dick, so I'm supposed to be okay with that shit. Yeah. yeah you can't bully me into supporting what the fuck you have going on, man. No. Right. So guess what I'm Never heard it been put like that, like, you can't bully me. <laughs> yeah. Into supporting something, you know what I'm saying, that I don't believe in, you know? It's almost like religion, I would feel. You know, a man believes in what a man believes in. Yeah. 333, good number. Oh, yeah. Good number. Uh-oh, yeah. I always catch the numbers. I called 1111 the other day oh, on man. the show, you know what I'm saying? Me and Adam, man, we were sitting down and I saw it. I was like, man, 1111, man. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's my numbers, man. But um, I, li I like how you, you know, I, I believe, honestly, when it comes to being a comedian, your shit's got to be real raw, right? And yeah. you feel like they're trying to censor y'all. You're like, well, damn, those type of jokes is what motherfuckers laughed at. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got me kind of watering it down. Yeah. you making it hard to, for me to gain this audience. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're not making it easy for me just to be able to be open-minded and be creative. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. And with that, with that being said, man, it's just like now you want me to write safely. So now my jokes have to have a, a fucking a safe haven right now. Right. You know, man, fuck all that. Yeah. Nah. Feel like nah. you're getting babysat almost. Yeah. A little bit like. Yeah, don't say that. You know, people, man, man, fuck that. Yeah. No, because sometimes, like, some comedians, man, you know, it's therapy for us. You know, for us to get on stage, man, and vent, like, that's actually therapy for us. You know, each comedian, you talk to any comedian, man, there is some type of trauma that they've experienced and turned it into laughter. They turned it into laughter. From childhood all the way up to adulthood. It's something now. It's funny that, you know, I um, I seen on your page and you, you're like, you know, in your little bio, I like the words where you say, turning pain into laughter. Mm -hmm. And I like that and I felt like that speaks volumes, you know, turning pain into laughter because they say, well, what I've heard and what I've, I've, I've seen, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of comedians, they say are depressed. Yeah. You know, it's a it's a they, they say they're they might be funny to make other people laugh, but they're never entertained themselves and they almost get sucked into this, you know, that's this true. depression. That's true. You that's know? true. That's man. That's, you, ever, that's, you ever experienced something like that? Yeah. Yeah. Talk to me. Yeah, about. man. Um, The night the night my brother passed, we was together mm -hmm. and we leave him. So what's your brother's name? Game. Key, K100, Lone Live K100, man. Hey, man, RIP K100, man. Yeah, so yeah. we leaving um, this spot, having a uh, drink, watching a game and shit like mm. that. So where I live at downtown from the spot where we was at, mm. it's maybe like three minutes. Hey, he go his way, I go my way. So soon I pull in the parking garage. Hey, man, your brother just had an accident. I'm like, God damn, man, let me turn around. I know... You know, how, how the fuck did that happen? You know what I mean? Like, he didn't show that he was, you know, tipsy like that. You know what I mean? Like, and then he had somebody following him. So mm. I'm like, okay, just maybe a little fundamental. So when I get there, I'm like, damn, man, that car look kind of beat up. You know what I mean? Because he's thinking that he's entering the freeway mm. where we was at. But actually, he's he ran into, like, that, that concrete barrier. You know what I mean? Thinking he's getting on the freeway. And he was in a Jaguar, and he hitting that bitch. So I'm like, okay. So I'm looking, I'm like, oh, man, you know. So the police like, no, stand back, stand back. I'm like, nah, watch out. Walk to the car. To the fucking family. Yeah, man, I walk in that motherfucker, I look. I say, damn. I say, man, he dead. No, you don't can't say that. I say, hey, man. And I told her, I told her, uh, the police officer, hey, man, you know, when you have a, a solid spiritual discernment, man, 
Like, you can't tell me. I, I know what's going on. I'm looking at him. You know, no, he's just uncut. Don't fucking lie to me, man. You know what I mean? Why would you say so? I say, hey, man, I'm a realist. You know what I mean? And then during that time, like, I was getting ready to end my fast. I was fasting around that time. So it's like, damn. You know, so when I walk off, maybe about 100 feet, I just hear people screaming and yelling. I turn around, they rolling out the yellow tape. So at that moment, it was just like I was in a dark place. I was like, damn, dog. I'm like, you know, the conversation that we would always have, he was like, man, you know, we wouldn't, we never expected death to be like that, you know, because he, he was in the streets. You know, he, hey, man, you know, I'm going to take me one or two with me. So now, so now it's like, damn, like, nigga, you, you died like that. You know what I'm saying? But I know his type of personality, you know what I'm saying? Like, God damn, bitch, I, you know, it's, so now at that moment, it's like the comedy start playing into motion at that, at that moment. You know, but I'm I'm hurt, but it's just like, it's like God was like, hey, man, like, after this tragedy, I'm going to send you major trial. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be able, you're going to be able to tell the story. So going through that process, man, you know, I bagged away from comedy and for like about a month, you know, and oh, man, he'll never be the same, man. You know, his comedy will never be the same. You know, because he he was there when it happened, you know, and I'm hearing the chatter around the city. <laughs> and it, it's so crazy because when I came back mentally, spiritually, physically, like my body changed like I was a monster when I came back. And my first show coming back fell on my brother's birthday. Fell on his birthday. And when I mean from that point on, man, up until now, man, it's like, the consistency, consistent, consistent, consistent. Like the the craft has been come. It's like it's one with me now. Yeah. Like I can I can write some shit, I can think of some shit and hit it, and it's just like, okay, cool. Now it's just that that point turned me into a different type of animal. Mm. Not only, you know what I'm saying, on the stage, but as a person, it turned me into a, you know, a, a even greater father. Cause that nigga was an amazing father. You know what I'm saying? An amazing hustle. Like I don't, I don't take shit for granted. So you picked up some of his traits. Hell yeah. Like you took to kind of keep him living on. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? This is what my brother would do. Yeah. You know, yeah. this is how he would have seen it. Do you feel like he would have wanted you to celebrate his death or mourn his death? Man, ain't no motherfucking mourning. Yeah. Man, ain't no motherfucking. Ain't no mother man say. And, yeah, you go. And people criticize me, man, because that day at the funeral. You know, when they was they was carrying this casket, man, and I was just like, God damn, man, you niggas weak than a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I could have I could have paid some of his smokers, man, to carry his casket, man. Y'all about to drop my brother and shit. So everybody laughing, like, damn, bro, like how can you at this moment? I'm like, nigga, because y'all struggling carrying this nigga casket, man. You know what I'm saying? And so <laughs> at that moment, it's just like I can just hear him, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like, God damn, man, these niggas finna drop me. You know what I'm saying? But it's yeah. just like, because he he wasn't like we we take shit serious, but we don't dwell on the seriousness. You know what I'm saying? Like, if anybody will tell you, like, man, goddamn, man, much you play too fucking much. Yeah. Man, life is not an emergency, man. No. It's not. Enjoy. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the fuck happens, man, like, it's always something in a serious moment, man. I don't know what the fuck it is, man. I think I got a problem. <laughs> I always find something funny in a serious moment, man. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. it was, man, like all the smokers come to the funeral and shit, man. And one of them like, hey, man, you know, let me let me get up there and sing something. And I was just like, man, you gonna really ask me to get up there and sing at this man's funeral, man? Yeah. Then one of them came like, hey, man, I had owed, I owed him fifteen dollars, man. I'm gonna give it to you when I get my check. And I was just like, at the motherfucking funeral, man, like, like, come on, man. Then you know, you got these bitches crying and shit like that, and it's just like. I'm like, okay, well. Well, all the ones that he was dealing well, with on the side came out. Man, you no. know the truth? When the motherfucker died, everybody that, like, they might have had a close 
you know, relationship with or just some type of spiritual bond. You know, they yeah. show up to that <laughs> motherfucker, man. And it'd be some real wild characters, some real strange characters that show up to that motherfucker, don't yeah. it? Yeah, you said but strange like a, characters. Some yeah. strange characters, man, that show up. It was a few ugly bitches in there that were crying, and I was like, <laughs> hey, man. And I'm serious. I'm serious. I put them to the side. I said, hey, man, you bringing attention to yourself. Stop crying real loud. You know what I'm saying? Y'all going to know. You know what I'm saying? Hey, ain't nobody know y'all fucking around. Stop doing that. What the fuck is that, man? I mean, hey, bitch, hey. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't bring yeah. no attention to yourself. I'm like, yeah. yeah, but, you know, a couple of ugly ones, man, in that crime. I'm like, man, soon you bring some attention to yourself, and they're going to know y'all fucking. Now I got to explain. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> While my brother was fucking the bitch, that, that looked that look like, look like a shade tree you mechanic know? in the face, man. <laughs> 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 like, damn, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, just the, man, like, yeah. that part there, man, it was just like, um, Seeing it, I was just like, damn, Love I really spirit, have, man. Yeah, I said, I have a problem, man. You know, it was just, man, this is not the time to be. Yes, it is. Yes, yes, the fuck it is, man. You know what I'm saying? And it's, man, laugh, man. Like, laughter, you know, is medicine, man. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just, I'm grateful that my style of comedy, man, like, it's organic to the point where if we're just having a conversation or identify something, it's just like, it's always laughed. And it's not forced. You know, when I get around a, a group of comedians, man, it's just come say I don't try to be funny. I don't hey no, or if we in a, a room full of people, I don't come into the room. Oh yeah, you know I'm the comedian, so I'm gonna try to over talk now. You know what I'm saying? I still respect the room. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. um, my upbringing, you know, the way my old man taught me. Hey man, now nah, when you in a room, man, you you respect the room. You know what I'm saying? Like penitentiary rules are always in effect. I ain't never yeah. been to the penitentiary, but I res yeah. I respect men. Yeah. So if they in there talking, I don't go in, hey, man, yeah, man, so, man, that's funny. So look, look, nah, I don't go in and involve myself, man. No, when you're a call to, you know, join the conversation, then that's when you do. You yeah. respect the room. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So it's I, I carry that spirit everywhere I go, man. It sounds like, to me, your comedy was built on spiritual experience. Yeah. Yeah. If that if that makes any sense. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like your comedy was built on a spiritual experience. It was the shit you went through. Yeah. And it was like, fuck, all right, well, either I'ma sit back and dwell on it or I'ma look at the glass half full. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't it wasn't no it wasn't no dwelling on it. It was just like, hey yeah. man, let's let's get to it. Because I um, you know, the type of niggas I grew up around, man, and um seeing those guys laugh it's just like man you know what if you can make niggas that kill people for a living laugh man you know what i'm saying like shit let's let's see because them niggas don't find nothing funny part you know houston, what i mean what part of houston you grew up in northeast houston northeast homestead houston. area yeah homestead yeah. northwood mountain yeah yeah Ooh. it was <laughs> you can tell you're a country boy he let that shit yeah. be no yeah you know uh, yeah through that that northeast northwood that, that, mountain that, yeah, yeah that, that that north houston that north <laughs> yeah, that's no. What color y'all like to ride over there on y'all slab? Man, What's shit. What's y'all color? I know it'd be red or blue. That's yeah, it. man, it was. It's, it's, north side, it's, south side. Yeah, man. North side, man, it's, you know, it was blue, you yeah. know, and then yeah. back in the days it was blue. Then, you know what I mean? Like, south side, you know, they say they ride red, but yeah. now it's like shit. <laughs> Everything is together now. You Give know me a mean? little bit, because, you know, you being a comedian that grew up, you know, in Houston, having Houston yeah. roots. Tell me what that was kind of like coming up in that experience of, you know, the north side, <laughs> south side issue. For real, because nobody ever really talks about it, man. You know, it's always been that little riffraff up there, man. You yeah. know, they try to show it a little bit through little bits and pieces, yeah. you know. I saw the little documentary, because, uh, you know, I was a big screwhead, man, when yeah. I was coming up, man. So, you know, I listened to a lot of DJ Screw, man. You know, if it, it, it wasn't Screw, if it wasn't by Screw. You right. know what I'm saying? You right. can just call that shit a slow tape. Yeah. So you know, <laughs> I know about yeah, it all, man. Yeah, so, yeah, you yeah. Know, yeah come man, on. it was um, you know, man, niggas was really scared to come to that north. You know what Ooh. I'm saying? On the north side, man, is shit. We was taking shit. We was taking shit. So you they know get a slab to it immediately. Yeah, man, come over there playing. Yeah, come over there playing. Oh, you, you know on you on some you on some eighty four? You on you poking? Yeah, yeah. Oh, we need them. Yeah, <laughs> man. Let me tell you this, church, and I got to be honest about it, man. Yeah. Shout out to Houston. I love Houston. But man, them 80 falls, I knock it the fuck off. <laughs> and for them motherfuckers to be damn near, Lord, them motherfuckers is $10,000. Mm -hmm. These rims is $10,000 motherfucking dollars. They poke out from the side like this, from side to side, this big, all the spokes. Yeah, it's the culture. 
ten thousand. Like I'm like, what the yeah. more than Fogies? Yeah. Because it's so in high demand yeah. down south, like especially in Texas. Texas yeah. is very big for riding eighty four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eighty four smoke. Yeah, yeah. Because you know, um, um, one of the guys, man, I I can't call his name, but I know he's from here. He's from L.A. And so, what he took when he came to the city, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Texan Wild Wheels, man. Like he turned the culture up. With that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like every year the motherfuckers get longer and longer and longer and longer, man. I'm like, God damn, man. How you park by the curb? <sighs> man, look. How? How do, well, how do I wanna know how they how they parking them motherfuckers man, around look, here, man? Man, look, my uh my brother, my brother got a car, man, and that motherfucker, and uh man, when I drive that motherfucker, I hate driving that motherfucking car, man. I hate driving that car. And the fact I had to drive his car, man, to the funeral. Yeah. And I would always talk about it. I was like, yeah, man, that hot dollar raggedy motherfucker, man. You know, he, he get mad. Man, hey, man, this motherfucker put together, man. And everything, it's like he actually, his spirit was just like, you know what? Make this happen on this day. Make this happen. Like the fucking belt popped on the car. Yeah. You know what I mean? But he take good care of the motherfucker. He took good care of his car. So I'm like, man, how the fuck the belt pop out? All yeah. right. Get to the church. They come fuck around and, and change the belt. Leave the church. On the way. The fucking bumper kit, the pump go out and the bumper kit file. Had to put a fucking belt around it. Drive it, man. It was just like that car gave me hell that day. And I was just like, <laughs> well, yeah. I talked about an 83 well, yeah. Beretz. 83 Beretz. 83 Beretz, man. Yeah. White insides, white top. Yeah. Tell me, tell me how that uh how that pop trunk wave came into effect. Oh man. How these around there waving, man. What what was that? What I want to know, did Houston start that that trend of pop trunk wave? You know, yeah. popping your popping your trunk. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Pop you know? trunk bang, let the fifth wheel hang. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, it's hey, <laughs> yeah. You know, just because, to get some southern culture in the yeah, building, yeah, man. man. You know, yeah. the heritage of what these boys be growing yeah. up on, man. For yeah, real. man. That that trunk, man. Like it, yeah. it has to be right. You know what I mean? And one thing about it, the statement in the trunk. You know what I mean? It identifies you. You know what I mean? Who you are. Whatever you believe in, whatever your mission statement is, that's what that trunk gonna say. You know what I'm saying? Like my brother trunk, he say, big dog, no puppy shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, hey man, you know, you got you got some people out there, man. Hey man, this the reason why your hoe missing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah shout out yeah. to Candy Red Bread, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it's a hey, it's it's a bunch of shit. You know what I'm saying? Because it's you gonna always see something different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying on on each slab, man. So yeah. that's what makes it so unique. The culture is unique, man. You know what I'm saying. You might see a Maserati out there. Yeah. You know, like they fucking they fucking them foreign cars up too, man. But then you got some people out there, you know, in the motherfucking Saturn. You know. <laughs> yeah, I've seen some crazy shit on yeah. swings out there, man. Mm -hmm. I'm not even gonna lie, man. Y'all be just like, fuck it, man. Let's do the Chrysler 300. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's do I'll be like, man, that shit crazy. But to think back, how did you make cause I know getting caught up in like, you know, having Southern culture, you yeah. know, how did you make it out of all that and was able to still just go be a funny man? Like, hey man, I'm gonna go be funny. Yeah. I'm going to go be funny. I don't want to do what Man. everybody else doing because that shit got to be hard. Around there, there's nothing else to do so you can be easily influenced. Mm. Right or wrong? Man, you hit the nail on the head. Because, right or wrong? <laughs> yeah. Because when uh, when I came home from college, man, it was like, okay, well, hey, you know, went to the went to the combine, didn't make it, got fucked out of a deal. Combine or what? Um, NFL football. combine. No, nah, NFL. NFL. Yeah, I played um, college football at Arkansas State. Yeah. You know, combine, duh, my bad, church. Yeah. Brain fart. You <laughs> so, good? Combine. Come on. So we fucked around, and it was just like, okay, had an issue on the table, you know, didn't go through. All right, now it's time to go back home. Well, I'm going to work. Fuck it. Mm. So around that time, it's like, okay, it's the recession. Yeah. I grew up around hustlers. A lot but, of us, a lot of us did back in that time, yeah. man. There was drug sellers, not drug doers. Yeah. Let's just remember that, yeah. man. You wasn't selling them and doing them at the same time. Mm. You didn't get high off your own supply. So mm -hmm. there was some real motherfuckers running around back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So watching that, man, it's just like okay, but they kept me away from it. Yeah. But I wasn't stupid to it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I still had knowledge of okay, hey, man. This what this is, this what this is, this what this is, and I just I'm a sponge. So I'm just sitting there, I'm in the trap, I'm just sitting there watching. 
Growing up, just sitting there watching. Oh, okay, hey, make sure this, this, this. You know, you're never flamboyant. You never did. So I'm like, okay. I'm soaking all that up. You know yeah. what I mean? Because yeah. now it's something that I have to fall back on. So nobody's hiring around that time. Hey, man, I got a college degree. Okay, yeah. 50,000 other motherfuckers got a college degree. What makes you so? Okay, man, look, I ain't got time for that. So now I know my brothers, you know what I'm saying, the old man, like I know whatever I ask for, they're going to give it to me. You know what I'm saying? Because I made it out. But now so it's just like, yeah. Where'd you go to college yeah. at? Arkansas State University. Arkansas yeah. State University. Jonesboro, Arkansas. Yeah. Talk that shit then. Mm -hmm. And it was like, damn, dog. Like, I know these, I know these niggas give me anything I want. Mm -hmm. But like, man, hey, I'm not finna ask you. I'm grown. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm grown. So my oldest brother, dude, they'll come stash their shit over there. Yeah. So I'm like, hmm, okay. So the smokers will come by. Hey, hey man, can you uh, cut my yard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going up. Uh, Huh? All this for that? Yeah. So I'm basically I'm giving this dope away, yeah. but I know you know what I'm saying whatever dummy. <laughs> whatever little dummy, whatever little being a dummy. I gotta say, it, bro, you hey. being a dummy at that hey. point. I'm talking about I'm talking about I'm, huh? I'm talking about big old big old boulders like huh? Yeah, cut that what yard. was you doing, man? You supposed to give them crumbs, man. man. You ain't supposed to give them the whole hey. thing, man. You ain't giving no twenty band specials, hey. man. Quarter pieces, no. Hey. I was fucking them up. Look, yeah. and so now it's like fucking okay. that business up. Yeah, but he he would he would forget. Yeah. You know, oh damn man, I forgot I got two books. Oh, I got this. Mm -hmm. you know. So when he come, it was like, hey man, um, hey the smokers did this this this. I had him do this around the house, man. You know what I'm saying? But I also recovered from this because I went and did this. Here go the money for this. Yeah. So now I'm not telling him what I'm doing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm sneaking and doing it. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. Now they not going to them. You stealing. <laughs> Pretty much. Stealing. But I'm turning the money in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, because they not, you know, when he come, hey, man, I got, nah, man, that's gone. Huh? Yeah. Man, how you, man, what the fuck you doing? Man, uh, old boy came by here. I'm lying like a motherfucker. He told me to give you this. Yeah. Damn, but this over. Yeah, man, don't worry about it, man. You know, huh? Man, nah, nigga, huh? You know, this, this go to me. But I'm knowing I'm playing dumb. Yeah. Man, say, I took the fuck off. Boy, them niggas was mad at me when they found out I was selling dope, man. Them, them niggas was mad. But the fact, the way that I was moving, it was just like, you know what? This nigga ain't asking us for nothing. He's moving very, very, very quietly. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not out like, yeah, I'm doing this, this, this. Just like, shit, it's the college A lot of boy. niggas gonna do that. Yeah. A lot of niggas be like, man, look at me, look at me. I mean, shit, they doing it today mm -hmm. on Instagram right now. Somebody right now, man, I can guarantee it, I bet my last dollar on it. Somebody on Instagram right now flashing everything they got. Man, let me tell you <laughs> something. You gotta make sure, man, it, look, it's okay to flash money. When you see some of your favorite rappers, mm -hmm. even comedians, yeah. even, you know what I'm saying, just people that they would consider in a high place, the shit that they flashing, man, the shit's accounted for, man. Yeah. That was money that came to an LLC or that was money like all that shit's accounted for and you can't get fucked with so don't get bamboozled mm -hmm. and think that they just because they talking about some shit meaning that's the type of money that they showing yeah that's two di different demographics man. yeah you yeah. know what I'm yeah. saying yeah yeah and it was <laughs> after that man he was like man what the fuck are you doing I'm like man I'm not asking you niggas for nothing mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying well how are you oh nigga you cooking this? yeah Huh? How the man look? I'm sitting. I'm a sponge. So yeah. now everybody like, ah, oh, we failed you. I will <laughs> say this. Not even as it don't got nothing to do with race. Cause yeah. even on my white side, man, I was always taught, man, you don't ever ask for nothing. Mm -hmm. You don't yeah. ever ask for nothing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like ask for it, man. No, you go and fucking demand it. Yeah, yeah. You go and you make your fucking move. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I was really taught that, man. And I watch a lot of people today, man. They just feel like, oh well. You know, if I follow, I didn't. I never had that crutch. Mm -hmm. I never had that. Like, okay, well, if this shit fails, uh, I can just go back home. Fuck. I can go back home. <laughs> I can go lay at my mama house, or I can. I ain't never had that luxury. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Once my grandmama passed church, it was over with. That was, and that was. I was 17, maybe 18 years old, and nigga, I, I cried. Church, I already knew it was over. Yeah. I said, this is it. Yeah. This is it. Like that piece of stability that I did have. That little spark of okay, at least if it gets fucked up, I can go and I can lay a granny house. Yeah, that shit was gone. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you say, you demand it. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, you like, gotta demand that shit, yeah. man. I don't got no, I can't go back and do any do-overs, man. I gotta move through this shit. And if yeah. it's if it gets fucked up and it gets a little blurry and shit happens like that, okay, cool. I gotta I, I can take that. I'm still gonna move through it. That's why I always try to take the good days as you know, hey man, let me let me cherish these, man. Let me love these, praise these, because there's bad that's always gonna come, man. So you gotta always make sure, yeah. even in times like this, you being right here, man. Yeah. Sharp tank, no yeah. jumper. Yeah, you gotta take these moments and you got to cherish them, man. And just even if you, if, I always say this for the good and the bad. Way out with the good, hey man. When you having a bad time, think back on times like these. Yeah, and why you living? Yeah. And why you pushing? Church, you can have a, a shitty run for the next year. Yeah. But think about on days like this and days that before and what you're trying to get back to. Yeah. You know, even being a comedian. Mm -hmm. You saying that you got booed, man, out here in L.A. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And still having to go and get back. Yeah. I respect that, man, more than a motherfucker just saying, hey, man, I'm, I can just give up. No, man, push. No, nah, fuck Push. That, push. Nah. That's the easiest thing to do to give up. <laughs> That's the easiest thing to do. It's really not. It's not even the easiest thing to do. Yeah. The easiest thing to do is just not do nothing at all. Yeah, that is true. Not even try to even say. You didn't even try to even say that part of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This shit is... I, I love interviewing different people, comedians, I, I like to interview. I want to interview gang members. I like to interview everybody. It yeah. doesn't matter. All walks of life. Because to hear even in your story, people would think, okay, well, here's the comedian. He's going to just come on and say everything funny. No, I want to hear the struggle that made you funny. Yeah. I want to hear the shit that you had to go through to be you. Mm -hmm. Think about all the different temptations that were around you. But fuck it. Funny is in my future. This yeah. is what I see. This is what's in my path. Yeah. And I got to stay on it because there's so many different things that will veer you off. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take this one back to Houston with you, man. It's going to be so many different things that's going to veer you off. But I promise you this, Monty. I promise you this. Everything that tries to veer you off, it's just letting you know that you're getting one fucking step closer to yeah. your Pyrrhic victory. Yeah. And a Pyrrhic victory is gained at too great a fucking cause. Yeah. Ooh. Church. <laughs> Yeah. You did straight up, man. And you headed for it. I appreciate you, man, for coming here, man. You flew in from Houston. You know, you serious about your craft. Yeah. You know? You got any uh upcoming shows, anything going on? Man, yeah, man. Uh, I'm doing a weekend in Jonesboro, Arkansas, April the eighth through the tenth. Um mm -hmm. Black Alumni Weekend, man. Um a few shows back in Houston. Then my 10 year anniversary show, man, in yeah. June. Yeah. Whew, man, it's gonna be amazing. It's tell me, tell me, because I'm fucking curious. Yeah. Because, and because I know you's a funny nigga, man. So to have a motherfucker, how, I gotta say, <laughs> I now, how the fuck did I you know where Because I gotta, you already know where I'm yeah, going with man. it because I can't let this one go before <laughs> we get up out of here. We gotta talk about it. How the fuck <laughs> did a person like yourself get caught up with Trey the Truth? Man. Trey the Truth from ABM. Man, man. And y'all start <laughs> funny by nature. Yeah, man, it was. <laughs> Talk to me about God this, please. Damn, I'm, I'm man. interested. And, you know, a lot of people look at bro, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, he's serious, serious. And he, he is serious. That's you know one what of I'm my saying? favorite. Listen to me, man. That's one of my favorite down south rappers. I remember when he was by himself, mm -hmm. ran into Mike Jones. And Mike Jones secured for real. This man tucked his chain, hopped over the shit, and hit Mike Jones in his shit. No, he he's certified. He's not playing. He's yeah, not he one not, of them bro. rappers. He was with no security. Yeah, yeah, bro. He hopped over, <laughs> hit the man in his mouth. Yeah, that shit went viral and said, "Hey, man, the man shouldn't have been running off at the mouth. I don't care about your security." Yeah, he ain't built like that. He don't care about none of them sec that security yeah, he shit, don't, man. Bro. He gonna press. He gonna press the nigga on sight, bro. Like, and it's and it's so crazy. We was in a situation, bro, and yeah. I'm in the middle of an interview, mm -hmm. and he had a, a disagreement with somebody. Mm -hmm. And next thing you know, I just see him pressing the nigga like, 
God damn, like, hey, man, I'm in the middle of a fucking interview, man. Fuck all that. Like, when yeah. he, with him, man, like, he, it's on site. You know what I'm saying? Like, he got boom. the key to Houston. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Like, all right, if he don't got the key, somebody damn sure sharing that motherfucker with him. Mm-hmm. You damn right, he can go wherever he need to get. Hey, man, there's a place you can come pick that shit up at, man. Yeah, man. It For was real. the relationship, man, like, it it always been genuine, you know what I'm saying. It yeah. never it never was it never started. It wasn't built on business. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So Talk about that a little he bit. ended up he ended up uh, doing the first comedy show uh, doing Trade Day weekend, mm. and he was asking people like, "Hey, who do y'all want to see? Who do y'all want to see?" And everybody just add me, add me, add me, add me. He DM me like, "Hey, get at me." I'm like, man. He is like that, too. Yeah. He got that voice like, hey, man, get at me. I'm you like, know, he always keep that same still-ass yeah. face. I'm like, man. Like, get at me. You can see him saying it. Yeah, bro. I'm like, man. I'm like, oh, shit. And I'm like, man. I'm, I'm like, man. I know I ain't made fun of this nigga, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, yeah. called him. He like, oh, meet me. I'm like, hold on, man. Like, what? Man, meet me. So, <laughs> all right, I'll pull up. Hey, doing the comedy show, man. Look, everybody keep on adding you, doing this, 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 this. All right, hey, this is what's going to happen. This is what's going to happen. All right, huh? And that was it, you know, and then. You got to break that. I'm not going to let that slide. <laughs> hey, look, it was. Just, I, you got to tell me. It can't be just this, 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 this. Hey, look. How did it line up, like, Man. for you to link up with Trader Truth? Yeah. And you have a whole nother line under him that's funny by nature. Yeah. Because so, he owns asshole by nature. Yeah. So it, it grew to where that initial moment, it was like, hey, this comedy show, mm-hmm. nigga, is going to be in Houston. Mm-hmm. And. You the man in Houston. So, nigga, I ain't never seen you do uh, stand-up, nigga, but I'm putting my name on this shit. Mm. Nigga, you are going to be the key person, nigga, that's going to show out at this show. How to make you feel? Shit, nigga, I was nervous because, like, this nigga here. Yeah, <laughs> Get the bubble gun. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah, I'm like, hey. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I believe in myself, but, like, goddamn, for you? And this nigga saying this shit, bro, with a straight face. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, well, shit, you know what I mean? I'm going to come in that motherfucker, and he was just like, yeah, all right. I'm like, God damn, like, ain't no, you know what I'm saying, like, congratulations, thank you, or nothing like that. He was like, yeah, I'm going to get at you, little bro. And that's it. Yeah. Like, he don't, man, he don't talk much into detail, like, we shit, we'll figure it out. So after that first show, man, I ripped that motherfucker. Like, I ripped that fucking show, man. I come off stage. T.I. was on FaceTime with somebody. And they showed, they was letting T.I. see the, um, the show. Mm-hmm. So it was like, man, who was that nigga that just got done? He was like, oh, man, that's Trey people. Man, hey, man, <laughs> Trey better hold on to him. Yeah, Trey better hold on to him. So Trey grabbed me, he was like, and hugged me, nigga. He was like, god damn, nigga, like, yeah, we going places. And I'm like, okay, like, so nigga, you gonna tell me I did a good job? Man, nigga, you know you did a good job. We ain't got to do all of those sensitive right, ass shit. Right. I'm like, nigga, nigga, at least hug me again, nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, right, right, Let me right. know. Like, hey, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And yeah. ever since that day, man, it's like when he moved, hey, I'm going to, I'm going to, um, to the, hey, come on. We yeah. got this going on. Hey, hey, man, we need to do three skits this month. Hey, it's just like what a lot of people don't know with those skits, man. Like, this motherfucker come up with them ideas. That motherfucker come up with them ideas like, hey man, look, let's do this, this, this. Hey, we're gonna line this up. You know, that was that's that's what also strengthened my consistency because that nigga ain't, hey man, what we what's next? What we doing? It's never, hey, all right, man, that was funny. It's like, all right, nigga, we done with this one. Like, what's next? You know what I'm saying? So now he's seeing how serious I am with it. Hey man, you know, we need to brand this, this, this. And I was just like, shit, man, you know, it's funny by nature. Nigga looked at me he was like, yeah, let's go. Yeah, nigga, I'm backing it. And he backed it. Man, say. And he stayed, man, like. He really is with the shits, though. I ain't going to. Listen, man, I, I grew up uh, listening to him. So I, he ain't never really changed, man. He always been a solid dude. Yeah. So it, 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 definitely, uh, it definitely makes me feel good to see he is expanding. And yeah. with people like yourself, yeah, you know, and really just trying to move a different chapter, yeah, you yeah. know, because people need to be touched, man. Like the hearts need to be touched in any way possible, yeah. So you know, for him to bring you on, you know, he's not just doing the music. He didn't jump in, man. He got you know, y'all got the comedian shit going on, yeah. man. Not no little shit, big shit yeah. going on, yeah. And it's it's. It's, it's just an overall blessing just to see. Yeah, man. Even from my side, man. Yeah, you man. Know? Appreciate it, man. Because one thing about it, man, like, yeah. if he, when he sees that, okay, well, I might hit him with something and then I may chill. Mm-hmm. It's like, hey, 
hey man, we don't get complacent around here. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's like, damn, I'm always, I always have to think of something. So I have a board. Mm -hmm. Okay, hey, you know, this the idea that I had about this, 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 this. So I might call him like. So now when I call him, is hey, I got this going, this going, this going. Hey, I want to do this, this, this. All right. But now the relationship turns into, hey, um, make sure when you get ready to do this album, man, we need this, 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 this. So now it's just like shit, iron sharpens iron. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, you do uh, funny skits for his album. Yeah, we like got this? yeah, we got we got a bunch of shit um yeah. in the in the vault, man. But um, you know, I I know music, so it's just like when he Texas has studio, underrated for music. Yeah, y'all underrated, man. Yeah, for real, for real. You know, mm -hmm. even with the you know what I'm saying before we even get up out of here, you know, just even in a short, like the boy uh, DJ Screw, you know, he was from L.A. originally. No shit. He was from L.A. originally. Yeah. Oh damn. He no, he was doing the shit down here, but nobody was fucking with it. Oh damn! So he moved back. He moved up to Texas. Now shit blew. Why do you think that he always used to mix? He always used to screw up West Coast artists. Mm. That was his favorite. He yeah. do Ice Cube. He used to do everybody. Mac yeah. Ten, Snoop. Yeah, he okay. do everybody. Pop. He used to have like a West Coast Wednesday on his show. Mm. I remember he used to do a little show back in the day, you know, what I've seen. You mm -hmm. know, he used to do a little joint where, yeah, he was a big he was a big fan because, you know, he always used to screw up West Coast music. Yeah. Okay. You know, so he went down south and he blew up. So it just goes to show, man. man. <laughs> you can, yeah, it, 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 it'll shock you, man. Yeah. Shit, I was always into the culture, man. I always liked the music. So I, I, I got to, I really dived in and, you know. Try yeah. to read up on everything. Yeah, yeah man. man. Yeah. That's, that's, he a West Coast. Dope. He's a West Coast nigga, God man. God damn. Yeah, that's dope. By blood, he, he's a West Coast nigga, man. Yeah. He really want our own, but we just, they didn't accept it. It's a hard audience down here. Just like you said for yeah. you, you being a comedian and yeah. you came down and you was like, fuck, I rocked it on stage for 47 minutes back where I'm from. Yeah. But then I came down to LA, did seven minutes and bombed. Yeah. And it was, the, it was some of the content that I did up there that had all the people, man, rocking. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that shit there, man. You it know what it was? You want me to give you some game? You yeah. know what it was? They cut your time short. You have to figure out something that's going to bust people's heads in that seven minutes mm -hmm. versus you having just all the comfortability and just being able to get comfortable yeah. and be able to seat yourself there, you yeah. know, and do and do all the extras and just get people comfortable. Yeah. No, man, you got seven minutes to do, man. Go. Yeah, that's why, you know, over the years, you know, um, my manager and I, man, shout out to DJ Young Sam, man. He, we got this thing called Rapid Fire. Yeah. So the way I come out on stage, it's just like, man, I'm not getting ready to come out. Hey, y'all, it's just like coming out that bitch and I'm busting. Boom, 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 hit them with these jokes. Now you let them recover a little bit and hit them with a little more and you fed them. And like, oh shit, they laughing, all right, that's my time. So now I know the next venue, when I come back to this motherfucker here in a few months, mm -hmm. before my 10 year, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna go to that same motherfucking venue and I'm gonna do seven minutes of that same type of fucking material, but it's polished now. And I'm gonna stand them people up. Remember, mm -hmm. I said it. I said it here. Remember, I said it here. Said it here on no jumper. Yeah. Say it. You said I it said on... this shit here on no jumper. Shark Tank, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody go crazy to say <laughs> shit. <laughs> Monty, listen to me, man. I appreciate you for sliding through. I am. Um, I am excited to see what the next couple years hold for you. Yeah. And where you're headed in this in this in this game that you play, man. Just with the comedian, just just moving, just being an overall good dude, man. Yeah. And just moving through your city and just having having the people come out. Yeah. And just fuck with you, man. I think that you if you if you didn't get to where you want to be, I know that you're at least loyal enough to stay true to the people that do fuck with you. Yeah. Yeah. And that and that that takes a hell of a man to do that, man, and not get greedy yeah. about the dollar. Yeah. Do it because you love it. How do you know why I do this podcast shit? Because I love it. Yeah. I don't you do it because I, you said it. I, I love it, man. Yeah. It, it's, a, it's a part of me. I love to sit back, man, like I said, with real people and overall have real conversation yeah. on the sharp tank. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So this is. This is the type of shit that I like to do, man. So I just, I want you to know I appreciate you. I appreciate for you, For coming man. down here, man, from yeah. Houston, man. Hey, man, at last minute, yeah. you hopped the flight. Yeah. It's nothing. Shop them on the way. 
Yeah. We're going to do it. Yeah. It's going down like the ground that you walk on. Yeah. Church. I loved it. Cathedral. You did? Yeah. Hey. We put God first in everything we do. <laughs> I appreciate, I appreciate you, man. you, man. You feel me? Man. Hey, I want y'all to know, man, we're going to get up out of here. But before we do, man, make sure you go check out, man, the Sharp, the other Sharp Tank episodes, man, on the No Jumper Network. Also, go watch the No Jumper Clips vlogs going down daily, weekly, monthly. So make sure you go check them out, man. We out this motherfucker, man. Monty, I appreciate you, man. Love, love. You yes, dig?